So a few people have asked about uh, converting the ramps 1.4 to 24 volts. So there's lots of information on the internet and Google is your friend, but this is what I've done. So just in here, so just in here I've removed two of the step sticks, was the diode that power basically gives power down to the Arduino Mega. So just remove that, remove the two polyfuses and um, make up some uh, some mounts for the or some connectors for the uh, blade fuses and what they are is simply these um, standard crimp connectors strip off the uh, off the insulation and uh, file those down and you can then put them through the circuit board and solder them from the back and then just uh, some heat shrink around the outside and you have basically a, a blade fuse mount and that's basically all you need to do so besides that you actually have to then power the um, power the ramps from a, 20, a 12 volt supply as I described before and that's just plugged in underneath there and of course you can see the um, the 12 volt supply going to the um, power the uh, fan extender module it's fairly straightforward so the hypercube evolution is back together well kind of but good enough to uh, to get things moving and I'm really, really happy with the result. This Z-axis is rock solid. So I really can't wait to get the, the build platform back in there and actually try to print something. So, um, the printer lives. It's all good. I had to remember how to wire it all up. But anyway, it's all good. So, and the Z-axis is... Uh, Nice and smooth all the way down. So, fortunately, the LM 12UU bearings, you can hear the, hear the balls recirculating inside them. But other than that, it looks really, really, really good. So I think the Z dual Z-axis version of the Hypercube Evolution is a thumbs up at the moment. Next step is to, uh, to get the build platform back in there of course and then uh, and get it all back to the way it should be and uh, start putting some filament down. Of course the, uh, the first job it will have to do is uh, to print the, uh, the new top Z um, bearing uh, linear guide holders. So that's it all the way up into the um, in the top. Now, before we talked about the um, the anti backlash nuts, and as you'll see there, even in the upper position, I've got about 20 millimeters of unused lead screw. So I'm thinking that um, I'll actually be able to put the uh, the brackets back the way they should be, and going back that 10 millimeters of height that we were talking about before. So that's it for this video and um, until I get the, the Hypercube Evolution back together. So um, 